Yo, is this seat taken? Oh, uh, no, no, I, I guess it's not, huh? Yeah, yeah, no, feel free to take a seat next to me. So what, what brings you here on this fine Saturday morning? Oh, you know, I just, I'm a writer, freelance writer. Oh. You know, so. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. so you're unemployed. I, I, I wouldn't. I, 30 coffees? Are you kidding? What? Hold on. Does anyone want some of these coffees? They gave me 30 coffees. <laughs> Does anyone want some of these? Wait, you two, you two. Well, you, you guys, you, do you want these? Uh, you know, I'm good. I have, I have my own drink. Okay, great, great. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here now. I'm gonna sit oh. here and be become friends with you. Yeah, with all, my coffees. All, all 30 coffees. Yeah, I'll take, uh, uh, I'll take one of the peppermint ones. Uh, so what, what brings y'all here today? I just sat down, um, next to this, yeah. uh, what'd you say you did again? I, I'm, I'm Draw, a writer. Drawing? I'm a, I'm a writer. A, a writer. Oh, yeah. oh, right. Yeah, yeah he's unemployed. He's unemployed. I'm, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm unemployed as well. I, I could probably write if you need any help. Okay, well, um, right. sure. Why not, right? Why not? Cool. What are you, what, what are you writing? It's a screenplay for a short oh. film, for a short movie, you know. Uh, but I'm okay. just, you know, I, I don't really know what to what to write about. So. Well, uh, this is funny. I've been writing down <laughs> lists of characters and famous people. <laughs> yeah, and actually, you know, sometimes I get these, like, plot lines that uh, just just pop into my head, you know. I start writing them down into this uh, Google spreadsheet. Maybe we can we can do something with that. Yeah, yeah, you know, this actually, this doesn't sound like a bad idea, actually. Cafe Rewrite. Awesome. All right, so let's uh, let's grab these random things. All right, I've entered everything into the list, including our own names. So there could be self inserts, uh, which yes. would be great. So I'm randomizing the first one. Oh. So okay, so <laughs> who did you get? So <laughs> number one is Willy Wonka, so Johnny Depp version. I'm just pulling up a picture of the Johnny Depp. Just for reference, just gonna have it up. <laughs> oh, who's number two? Uh, I guess I can be number two. Yeah, let's have it be yes. Maybe. Yeah, I'll be. Your RuPaul. Okay, and we randomize. <laughs> and Cam, you will be playing the role of Lois Griffin. Oh, excellent. I will also pull up an image for reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yaz, please have an image for reference for RuPaul. I do, I do. I have I have images of both RuPaul in and out of drag, so. Excellent. Wait, everyone, everyone change your uh, Discord profile pictures <laughs> to your character. <laughs> right, let's, let's get that. Whoo, Cam. Nice. Thank you. All right, and I'm, I'm, I'm giving us a plot. Okay. And then, <laughs> in an, act, in an <laughs> action of, of poor uh, This is the one I wanted to do. In an action of poor foresight, top mental health experts decided to try an experiment where they would put all of the traumatized Vietnam War veterans into an enclosed forest area where they could live as if they were still in the war. This was supposed to only last a week. When the veterans were to be taken out of the forest, they refused and attacked with the weapons that they were provided. Experts are currently meeting to figure out how to safely extract these individuals from the site. The characters are late for school and decide to take a shortcut through this forest. <laughs> so we're, uh, our, our crew is venturing through a forest that is full of PTSD-ridden Vietnam War veterans <laughs> who are acting as though they are still in the war. So where do we start? Okay, um, I guess we start with the exterior, right? So how about we, uh, how about it is exterior, um... <clears throat> chain link uh, fence. No, no. <laughs> Suburban sidewalk. Right, we need to set it up. Day, yeah. Well, we, we, <laughs> why are we taking the shortcut, right? Yeah. Because we're but late. We missed, we missed our bus. And now we have to walk to school. Yeah, yeah. How about, how about a, a bus, um, a bus speeds by at incredible speeds <laughs> down the quiet uh, suburban 
suburb suburban neighborhood. Three kids. Uh, ki Whoops. Uh, the kids should be pointing and laughing at them as they chase. <laughs> there should be some dialogue, I feel like. Well, gosh darn it then. We done missed the bus. Is that how he talks? I don't know. I don't think that's <laughs> I don't how. remember. Also, you're supposed to add ages. I have no clue how old Willy Wonka is, so I'll take a I'll take a guess. I will look uh, it up right now. And <laughs> I'll see how but, but take a guess, and I'll I'll tell you how close you are. So he's actually 33. You were very close. Oh! Should RuPaul go next? I yeah, think. I feel like I feel like yeah, RuPaul, yeah, yeah. Character two uh, should go next. I have actually never seen an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I think the only familiarity I have with RuPaul is from that clip from a. Uh, Jimmy Fallon almost getting canceled by him, yeah. so uh, <laughs> I will do my. I think that's all the context I need. Honeys, yeah. how are we supposed to get to school now? And uh, RuPaul <laughs> Why are we so is. Southern? <laughs> I actually looked at this. RuPaul is 59 years old. Really? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh my Damn. Isn't that God. crazy? You should do. It's in better shape than Willy. Kama, who I need I remind you is 20 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> no. So she is not out of breath despite, uh, wait, in full low, yeah, Lois Griffin drag, but yeah. she's gotta be wearing like massive platform heels. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like Lois with... would. All right, well, I guess it's Lois's turn to, to make, to say something. Damn you all, if your fat ass hadn't eaten all that chocolate and you weren't in 30 pounds of makeup, we would be halfway to school right now. And on another note, you are totally jacking my look. Lois, 43, angrily gestures at RuPaul, who is dressed exactly like her. Now I want an age check. Lois is, Lo yeah. <laughs> Lois is, is 45. Ooh. Yeah, 45. I feel like Lois has a, has a little crush in first period. Cause she's got a little crush Something by the tells name me of... Peter is in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. I'm just gonna have her go, Ro. <laughs> Ro. <laughs> it's like now 20 know, minutes. Now we know the oh, man has a watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is character development. So you had to capitalize that zero. <laughs> Wait, I'll make her sound very knowledgeable. If I know the layout of this town. <laughs> which I do. Which I, which do. I do. Which I do from my countless uh, geocaching. <laughs> <laughs> from, from countless hours Geo spent spent geo <laughs> catching. Lois is a real talker. Yeah. yeah. I, I fucking <laughs> like paragraphs. I, I, that's the thing. I have to edit this shit down. She really doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> now, this could, we, we could say this is set in like 1980. <laughs> But honestly, it doesn't matter where this is set. This is a timeless story. It's a timeless. <laughs> well, I mean, it has to take place post Vietnam <laughs> War. But it's a tale as old as time, you know. <laughs> like the Vietnam War. <laughs> like yeah. the Vietnam War. Trust me, I'm not authorized to look this good, but I do it anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Is her motivation? Because we're saying that Lo uh, Lois is a is a single mother in this story and are we assuming that Peter is the father and maybe maybe he's unaware I'm thinking that lo I'm thinking that someone else is the father <laughs> no, no. Uh, my, my thought process no. right now is that someone else is the father but she's just trying to get someone to help her take care of Stewie wait but why why jo uh, <laughs> why God. just Stewie what about Megan Chris <laughs> this is the only baby she has in this universe <laughs> I'm just gonna have her be like, yeah, they're just trying to s to scare us. That doesn't sound very Lois. <laughs> Seems like some Peter has gotten into your system. <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about, how about, that doesn't seem very Lois, Lois. <laughs> <laughs> 
Willie pulls a loose piece of poop out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Why would you have some that? chocolate, Lois. We should have a really long scene when they're in the forest where Willie's like, I have to use the bathroom, and then we just focus on him <laughs> shitting for like a page. <laughs> I'm just gonna write a RuPaul line, because I... All right, what, is, what are you having, what are you having RuPaul say? Yeah, it has to be approved. It's gotta okay, be approved I'm by... thinking RuPaul's gonna say something like, after you, Lois, like, like motioning for Lois to, to make the jump first. Ah. You know? Yeah. Yes, I like that, I like that. I, I approve. You always have to consult with the queen of drag. Of course. <laughs> you yeah. want, you want, you scared? Do you need Peter to come and... Oh, yes, 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 that's good. Um... She just straight up calls her a cunt. <laughs> Shaw say shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lois should bring that up and then Willie can be like, no, Mrs. whatever, whatever took them away from me. Um, Mrs. Wonka. <laughs> Mrs. Wonka took them away. No, they're all siblings, aren't they? Wait, they're siblings? I, I don't know. It's kind of what Ooh. I thought, but. <laughs> I thought I they were just not. like I thought I thought they were just like the neighborhood kids. Or maybe like Willie sees something shiny and is like, oh, shiny. A golden ticket for me. No, he's got he's gotta sing the I got a golden ticket. <laughs> I got a golden ticket. It is an empty bullet case thing. <laughs> <laughs> he screams. He screams bloody murder. <laughs> and then Lois has like a big, what is it? And Willie no, has no idea what it is. Holy shit. <laughs> he's, he's like, it kind of looks like a Rolo wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking bull. Having a fucking panic attack. <laughs> oh my fuck. <laughs> Bro, wait till they fucking see the, the Vietnam War veterans. They're freaked out by a bullet in our small suburban town. Yes, yes, yes. Our dog, Brian Griffin, is dead. <laughs> in the fucking woods? <laughs> a fucking bullet? God, Brian could have swallowed this. Do you see this fucking shit? <laughs> Guys, we could have made the script PG-13, but we lost the chance with this one line. What, what state should we have this take place in? Because it could be like, we could call it like Vietnam, Nevada. <laughs> like, like it's a location. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like that. The yeah, no, there. that's how they discover. They come upon a sign in the middle of the forest that says Vietnam, Nevada. <laughs> um, Vietnam, Nevada kind of rolls off the tongue, though. That is true. Could be Vietnam, New Mexico. <laughs> Vietnam, New Mexico. North Dakota's uh -huh. funny, because nothing happens in North Dakota. Vietnam, North Dakota is pretty good. No, 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 Rue should, Ru should just tremble her phone and, like... And, yeah, and, shaking. And pick it up and then drop it. And then Willie picks it up and it's like, no bars. And opens it. What is this? Is it a it flip phone? Well, just like <laughs> unlocking it, I guess. <laughs> no, it should be a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember, this is the 80s. <laughs> the they didn't 80s. have flip phones <laughs> in the 80s. No bars. Um, no beat either. I feel like. Uh, cinematically, this is a good point to to have some action. Oh, yeah, yeah, have some... This is when we hear a gunshot. Pow, pow, yeah. pow! It's yeah, in confirming the, distance, the bullet. Though. And Lois goes, what the fuck? A <laughs> fucking bullet <laughs> gunshot? In my fucking What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, kids, while we do this, I'm gonna start putting together a meatball sub. <laughs> me he haunts me yet he never gives oh. me a second thought Holy shit. <laughs> it is not only the answer but exact but exactly what I deserve <laughs> Lois should get shot in the stomach and she should yell my baby <laughs> and we find out that she's pregnant <laughs> I was gonna name her Meg <laughs> Honey, it's probably from the best. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh yeah, now she has to be like, just like, be like, Willy, how much time do we have? And then they get flanked. Like, they get just surrounded by... By the yeah, veterans. Like a ton of soldiers. Gunshots, wi or bullets whiz over their heads. And <gasps> Wait, uh, one of them should <laughs> should die by a landmine. Should step on a Shit. landmine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, interior army base. Willie is definitely the most side character of the three. Yeah, he tries to pull out a candy bar, and they yell, he's got a gun, and then shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. off. We have to have them, they need to be, so, oh. so then, like, oh, wait. yeah, the veteran's, hey. like, yeah. And, like, great, so, like, could you guys please help us, like, get across the forest and, you know, get us out of here? And they have to just be, like, no. And then we need to, like, reveal that they're in danger and give them a reason why they want to escape. We haven't seen a lady in years, and they look oh, at like RuPaul yes, and Lois. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Write that, and then Willie will be. Yeah, like, right. It sounds like I'm gonna be bored for a little while, and starts to take the chocolate out of his pocket. Yeah, <laughs> and that's when he gets shot. <laughs> it should be. It could be a really long. It's like, oh my god, that fucking guy's got a gun or a knife or maybe like a crowbar or something. <laughs> Whatever it is, you <laughs> better shoot him. Should I say Lois? Uh, RuPaul steps on a landmine and is blown to <laughs> wait, wait, at least, at least, she steps on it and freezes. No, no, Lois, Lois yells, fuck, and then she <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think, I think also parts of RuPaul have to, like, be on Lois. <laughs> Tears start to well up in her eyes as she looks at the empty space that was once her friend. <laughs> oh my god! That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> A gunshot <laughs> fires behind Lois. It tears <gasps> through her. Wait, the sternum is like in the midsection, right? No, yeah, the sternum's perfect. Definite, it's like where the, yeah. Oh yeah, right. The ab I forgot we were killing a baby. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, it tears through her abdomen. Her abdomen Just and hits RuPaul's head square in the brain. <laughs> no, no, it, just, it just hits RuPaul's head and it flies out of Lois's hands. And then, uh, and then... <clears throat> interior classroom. <laughs> is she in the class? She is gonna be in the classroom, or are we just gonna have her outside of the school running into Peter? No, no, interior classroom. <laughs> The classes watch it. Students sit watching Peter Griffin chug an entire <laughs> gallon of milk. They're cheering him on. <laughs> hey, Lois, I drank a freaking gallon of milk. It was freaking sweet. Yeah, no, Peter, just I was gonna name her Lois. Yeah. I mean, fuck, Meg. Name her. <laughs> there it is. That's the end. Good job, everybody. Oh my and god. <clears throat> it only I took. Right. Two hours, hours and thirty, yeah, three hours. Yeah, three I'm hours. Honestly, do you want to read about. through this whole thing? I'm, I'm totally down to read through it. Here we go. Exterior, suburban sidewalk, day. A bus speeds by at incredible speeds down the quiet suburban neighborhood. Three kids rush after the bus. Kids at the back of the bus point and laugh as they try to catch up. Well, gosh darn it then, we done missed the bus. Willy Wonka, 33, dressed head to toe in red felt, stops running and catches his breath. Honeys, how are we supposed to get to school now? RuPaul, 59, in full Lois Griffin drag. I forgot about <laughs> oh, that. I forgot. <laughs> With massive platform heels, Lois' signature look also stops running, but is in better shape than Willie, who I who need I remind you is 20 years younger, so she is not out of breath. Period. God damn you all. If your fat ass hadn't eaten all that chocolate and you weren't in 30 pounds of makeup, we would we would be halfway to school right now. And on another note, you are totally jacking my look. Lois, 45, angrily gestures at RuPaul, who is dressed exactly like her. <laughs> Willie pulls out a piece of chocolate from his pocket and takes a bite. Uh, sounds like a you problem, sweetie. RuPaul pulls her hand out for a piece of chocolate. Oh, honey, don't knock me until you try me. Willie hands RuPaul a piece of chocolate. Lois rolls her eyes. Whatever. I gotta get to school before first period, so unless you bitches just want to stuff your faces all day, how about we start figuring out how to get there? Hmm, what's so special about first period? Something tells me there's something petery in first period. 
<laughs> Lois blushes while smiling. Uh-huh. Rue. <laughs> Willie stands up abruptly and begins walking towards the school. Well, wow. sounds like we're in a hurry now. Willie looks down at his watch. First period starts in 20 minutes. I'd say if we ran the path of the bus, we could get there in 30. If I know one thing, it's racing. Bet we can do it in 25. RuPaul runs ahead of Willie at full speed. Lois starts trudging behind them, looking unimpressed. Guys, guys, we don't have to run. See that forest over there? If I know the layout of this town, which I do from countless hours spent geocaching with Stewie, the school should be right on the other side of the forest. I'll bet we can walk through there and make it in half the time. Lois points to the forest ahead of them. RuPaul and Willie turn their attention towards the woods. Score one for Team Louie. Willie darts over to Lois and places a roll of Smarties on her head. A Smartie for a Smartie, my dear. Lois rolls her eyes, starts walking towards the chain link fence. Thanks, Willie. Come on, let's see if we can find a break in the fence. <laughs> Lois walks away and RuPaul and Willie follow quickly. Exterior, chain link fence. The characters are walking along the chain link fence. It is eight feet tall with barbed wire along the top. They see a hole in the fence that is just big enough to fit one person at a time. Next to this hole is a tattered sign that says, Authorized Personnel Only. Authorized Personnel Only? Trust me, I'm not authorized to look this good, but I do it anyway. Come on, guys, they're just trying to scare us. We'll be in and out in 20 minutes. Or 10 minutes, fuck. That doesn't sound very Lois, Lois. Seems like some Peter has gotten into your system. RuPaul violently jabs Lois in the gut until she turns around. Willie pulls a loose piece of fence out from the foundation, creating a hole big enough for them to sneak through. The sound of the fence alerts the other two. As they turn to look, Willie motions for them to crawl through. After you, Lois. Exterior, forest, a few minutes later. The three find themselves in the middle of the forest. It is eerily quiet. The sounds of leaves crunching beneath their feet fill the space. Willie drops candy behind them as they walk. You scared yet, Lois? Need your boyfriend to come hold your hand? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Willie sees something shiny in the mud. He's enamored. He reaches down to he reaches down to pick it up and start singing. I've got I don't know how the song goes to be honest. I've You've got never a golden seen the movie? ticket. <laughs> I've seen the movie, I just don't remember the song. <laughs> I've got a golden ticket. <laughs> he picks it up to reveal that there's an empty bullet casing. He screams bloody murder. Birds fly up from a bush in front of them. Ah! RuPaul and Lois whip around towards Willie, shocked and fearful. What? What? Willie, what is it? Uh, I just don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. It kind of looks like a Rolo wrapper, but smaller, shinier, and warmer. Lois rushes to Willie and grabs the shell from his hands. She, ex she examines the shell. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. This is a fucking bullet. What the fuck? Oh my fuck? What the fuck is this doing here? In our fucking suburban neighborhood? In the fucking woods? A fucking bullet? Oh my fucking god, Rue! Do you see this fucking shit? Fucking Brian the fucking dog could have swallowed this and fucking died! Should we fucking call someone? RuPaul trembles and drops her flip phone. Willie picks up the phone off the ground and opens it. No bars. The group stare at each other in silence. Suddenly, a gunshot followed by some screams rings off in the distance. Everyone turns towards the sound, startled. <laughs> what the fucking shit was that? Was that a fucking gunshot? Is that where this fucking bullet came from? Holy fucking shit. There's a fucking man with a fucking gun with fucking bullets in our fucking suburban town. We are going to die, and I won't even get to tell Peter how I feel about him. Not like he would want me anyways. Who would want a single skank with a kid? I'm a used woman at the bottom of the bargain bin, and Peter is the manager of Target. He rules me. He haunts me, yet he never gives me a second thought. As the other dirty bimbos and washed up losers sift through the trash that I'm buried beneath, I get no closer to the top of this royal shit pile. Perhaps death is not only the answer, but exactly what I deserve. Well, I suppose we should be heading back home now. The candy trailer maid should prove quite useful for- Peter would be lucky to have a woman like you in his life. Now, come on, we've made it this far. Let's see this thing through, honey. Are you absolutely sure that's the best idea? Won't it be dangerous? No. You're right, RuPaul from RuPaul's Drag Race. We're already in this mess, and we're gonna get out one way or another. <laughs> Willie, how much time do we have? 
Willie looks at his watch. Ten minutes. Now, I don't know how far into these woods we are, but I know that if we keep moving forward, we'll make it to school on time. I'll march into that classroom, and everyone will... Bullets whiz over their heads. Eight elderly men in full army uniform... Full army uniform careen down the hill towards them. They're touting assault rifles and howling into the air. Some are in wheelchairs, which only makes it scarier. Interior, army base. Lois, RuPaul, and Willie sit against the wall in the army base. Scattered across the walls are maps, loose papers, and a large sign reading Vietnam, Nevada. Three veterans stand around the three characters. And that's why we're here. So you mean to tell me that a bunch <laughs> of mental health wackos sent you all here because you got the shell shock from Nam, right? And this place was supposed to be some kind of cathartic experience to help your mental state, right? And then when they came to get you, you refused to leave and shot at them, right? So now you're just here living out your days as if it were still 1969 Vietnam, right? Yep. Listen, boys, we have class in five minutes. Seeing that we're not Viet Cong, could you maybe help us through the woods? Well, don't rush out just yet. It's been a while since we've had a couple of ladies in our camp. Why don't you entertain us for a while? RuPaul and Lois shake in fear. Well, sounds like I'm going to be bored for a while. Time for a snack. Willie begins reaching for his pocket. A small bit of chocolate is revealed. <laughs> My god! That man has a gun! Or maybe a knife, or a crowbar, or a grenade launcher, or something! Either way, he's gonna get us if we don't do something about it! Why the hell hasn't one of you shot him yet? Come on, boys, let's get him! Suddenly, all three veterans pull their guns from their holsters and begin opening fire on Willie. <laughs> Paul and Lois scream and run out the door. Exterior forest. RuPaul and Lois rush out of the army base and immediately, immediately investigate their surroundings. Right in front of them is a sign reading exit with an arrow pointing left. The two of them look at each other and nod. They begin sprinting in the direction. Get him! The three veterans rush, run out of the base and start pursuing RuPaul and Lois. RuPaul steps on a landmine and freezes. Fuck! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take your time. <laughs> she is then blown to pieces. <laughs> Lois turns around to look at the explosion. Bits of bloody RuPaul flesh <laughs> rain down on Lois's horrified expression. Tears start to well up in her eyes as she looks at the empty space that was once her friend. <laughs> RuPaul's entire <laughs> lands in Lois's hands. Slowly <laughs> opens its eyes. <laughs> and lets out one last dissolving phrase. Holy fuck, honey. A gunshot <laughs> fires by Lois. It tears through her abdomen and hits RuPaul's head square in the brain. <laughs> the head flies out of Lois's hands. <laughs> the head flies oh. out of Lois's hands and surrenders against a chest. <laughs> Lois falls to her knees, clutching her stomach. Whew. Time freezes around her. A tear falls from her eye. She clutches her stomach tighter. No. <laughs> A distant <laughs> yell breaks Lois's isolation. She struggles to get back up and flees. Exterior chain link fence. Lois, leaking blood from her wound, crawls through a small hole in the fence. As she escapes the forest, she refuses to look back. She clutches her wound. Interior classroom. The clock reads 7.38, two minutes before class starts. The entire class is gathered around Peter Griffin. He is chugging the entire gallon of whole milk while everyone cheers him on. He finishes the jug, throws it against the chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone applauds. Peter is basking in his glory and doesn't notice Lois walking in through the door. They applaud. The applause slowly fades as people begin to notice her. She stands in the doorway, dirt and blood dripping down from her head to the floor, barefoot. <laughs> Peter is the last to notice Lois, completely tone deaf. He confidently calls out to her. <laughs> OMG, Lois, you just missed the most awesome thing ever. I chugged Mrs. Tarantino's entire jug of whole milk. 
She's gonna be so pissed when she goes to have her midday snack and finds that there is no milk to moisten up her cookies. Lois looks at Peter. There is a long silence between them. She removes her hand from her wound, from her wounded abdomen, revealing a hole through her body. She looks at Peter. I was gonna name her Meg. Cut to black. <laughs> the end. Finn. Good job. Honestly, that I was, was a little worried after I was so damn tired from the first Yeah, half. I know. Re reading through it, I had a good time. <laughs> Me it, too. Honestly, I think our, our kind of lull uh, helped a lot. Um, yeah. It helped us kind of ease into this instead of being crazy right off the bat. Um, yeah, definitely. And I think definitely. this worked out. I think this worked out really well. Yeah. Yes. I think we should keep doing this. Cafe Re